You're now tuned in to Check Your Timeline, the official podcast for the fly, the fabulous, and the motherfucking bossy. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not listening to this podcast, you're You're not not a motherfucking motherfucking boss. Okay. Murder, Miami, married. <laughs> T-Pain is from Tallahassee. True. That's not it. But it is a man entertainer. You are really close, really hot. Um, in Miami, married. Murder. Hmm. Rick Ross? It's murder. Ja Rule. What the fuck he got to do with Miami? He from New York. Oh, Ja Rule don't live in Miami no more? I don't know where he lives. I oh. would have never. <laughs> I would have never. Well, let's not say how I do. So, <laughs> no, nah, nigga, the, the few times I've met Ja Rule have been in Miami. I mean, the very first time I was in Club Rolex's VIP was with Ja Rule. And I just saw, like, a picture of him looking scrumptious i knew I, you had to have seen that nigga somewhere yeah like what recent, the fuck? it's 2017 like nigga ja rule like nigga, what? what cry festival who yeah nigga nigga what Didn't. okay okay perched lips apology okay perched lips like pussy lips bitch Okay. No. Okay. All right. Perched lips apology. Yeah. Perched lips apology. Who has apologized? That's been a lot of fucking apology. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna go with who comes to fucking mind. Perched lips apology. Jay Z. Yeah. Oh shit. My nigga Bitch. was sitting on that couch with that perched with ass that thigh. crossed baby. Yes. Let me tell Bitch, you. Bitch, I won. Like yes, that's one did. zero. One for pink, none for siege. So, yeah, I tried to make that one easy too. I did make it easy for you. I don't you threw me off with my Wait, the crazy part is you didn't make it easy, but then when I thought lips and it wasn't pussy lips, I'm like big lips. Jigger lips. Jigger lips. The one and only. I don't even know how apology and perch that fit until I thought about it. Yeah. But don't he, ever forget Jigger lips. He was apologizing for fucking around on B. He did. But you know, we're gonna get into that a little later. Her but pussy's boring. We get it. Wow. Boop. I don't boop boop. I don't think so. I think he's just a nigga that gotta he gotta have a catcher's meant for all the pussy that get through at him. Ew. I I, yeah. I never ever would, but it's cool. There's a lot of unattractive rich ones that I would. Jay Z feels like at some point I'd be like, okay, dad, I'm good. I don't well, want to have sex with you. Uh, You're not jigger. But anywho, what's good world? It's your mm-hmm. girl CC McFly. How y'all doing? How you doing? And it's your girl. Pink Scorpio, how y'all doing? What up, what up, what up? Hey, Pink. Listen, you guys, you're going to be listening to us um, the day that this is actually happening. There is going to be a super moon Mm -hmm. this evening. You know what a super moon moon is? I don't. I do, but tell the listeners. Okay, the super moon is when the moon is like the closest to Earth that it's normally in in its orbit Mm -hmm. so it's gonna look really really huge and it's gonna be some good photo ops and for all my moon goddesses out there how y'all doing um they say that this is a time where you know the the female menstrual cycle i was just gonna say (laughs) i really wish i wasn't single so i could get my motherfucking back broke underneath i mean what's up dick that menses and menstrual health and then this is a time with the with the super moon, that big ass moon out there, people are supposed mm-hmm. to be upbeat mm-hmm. and happy. Yeah, I am. Especially when the world is not in turmoil, but we in some fucked up times right now. Right. But I am in an upbeat mood. Bitch, I see you shining. I do. Then what? I do. No highlights. Yes, bitch. You yes. going? Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy. I've been in a fucking mood. 
I'm not even gonna mm. lie to you though. I got some bomb ass birthday dick, and from that very point, yes, like the year of thirty two has been fucking bright. That's awesome. And again, be Con- dick if you're listening. Congratulations. This super move. Let me get next. Oh. Congratulations. Thanks, bitch. I'm just saying. It's been a while. So that is um, for that. Also, you guys, these are just some announcements. Y'all pray for everybody in Delaware. Dover, Delaware had an earthquake of 4.1. Niggas never have an earthquake in Delaware. Like Delaware, my nigga? I had to check on all 30 of the people in Delaware, in Dover, Delaware. All 30 blacks? All 30 of my black friends in Dover, (laughs) Delaware to make sure they were okay. Bitch, I didn't even hear about that. Like, how they don't even care about the earthquake in Delaware? Where'd you see that? Um, It was on the news. Uh, I I was checking my timeline and it popped up in one of my news feeds because it was a 4.1. Okay. It was like tied as one of... Tied with being the largest on record in the state. Wow. <laughs> but you know what is weird to me? That there aren't a lot of fucking earthquakes in the state. Like Delaware having like, earthquakes? They nigga? don't have any, so. I'm going to tell you this. I watched this show on Netflix called The Defenders. Oh, bitch. I haven't and I won't because, I mean. Let me tell you. Shit is real, okay? Be, but have you seen The Punisher, bitch? Of course I did. First of all, I want to fuck that nigga. Who is that man? I don't know his name, but I like his nose and yeah, how like his, his nose eyes. is like broken. Yep. And then his eyes kind of like sit so low. He looks like a Neanderthal. Yeah, he's so emotional and just so driven. And I'll just be like, ooh. And his voice is like, yeah, I'm here. When he get mad, girl. Okay, I'm sorry. Defenders. We care about him. So, yeah, it was an earthquake in New York on the Defenders. Oh. Nigga, the hand did that. Oh, the hand. See, that's the what... hand did that. But so... I didn't... Okay, so I didn't like Iron Fist. Jessica Jones, I stopped believing after like episode four. I'm like, this bitch is like 60 pounds. Uh, it's so iconic. Well, how did she get her power, though? She was born with it? Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm not. She's, so... a, she's a mutant. So, originally from San Diego, I'm definitely a Comic Con chick, but I'm. I mean, like Marvel's. I like the story and the realness of the stories, but I'm really a DC girl. Like, well, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of my DC has a great lane. Um, well, Marvel has a really good lane on Netflix. Like mm-hmm. they've done, they've done some phenomenal shit with them stories. So you liked Iron Fist? I didn't so much like the writing of the Iron Fist. The writing was a really slow paced, mm-hmm. but Daredevil was the shit. Daredevil, okay. both seasons were really, really good. I liked one and more then than two. That led into, you know, um, Iron Fist, and then so that they can do the Defenders. I know. I didn't like Iron Fist. Did you like Jessica Jones? I loved it. Loved it. Because I liked the villain in that one. Oh, well, me too. Okay. He was so good. And then Luke Cage was my favorite, obviously. It was so black. That's why I loved oh, it. It was And then so the writing black. was so great. It was good. And then the villain in that one is one of my favorite actors. Ooh, little fine-ass Mahershala That's and right. Alfre Woodard. That's fine. Ooh, Mahershala. That was just, it was a good one. But Mahershala. The Punisher is amazing. That one's really good. Yeah. So I'm glad that they did that. But y'all know what time it is? Pink, did you ask my answers? Oh, well, not necessarily, but I do just want to take this time to reiterate to you guys, hey, whatever... Um, app you're using to listen to oh yeah this show right now please do us a favor and rate us and subscribe listen yes. you don't got to be five stars you know what i'm saying if you you don't really feel us you kind of all ah, right i mean this is only episode yeah, I mean, three bitch which y'all to learn then you can so give much. us two three whatever stars but please just rate us and please submit comments the reason why that is is because we want to be able to look at these analytics and look at these comments and these feedback so that we can begin to tailor the show for our listeners yes right and then Dang. also we're going to do that like listener letter situation so we want to start building that relationship with y'all talk to us for real us. for real because we shouldn't because y'all fuck with us and people been waiting on this podcast y'all fuck with us fuck with us for real. like for real and y'all be we in our dms you be in our dms so we know that y'all are listening we just want apple and itunes and iheart media and everyone else to know no <laughs> listen i got like almost 200 likes well, on my one of my facebook oh. posts announcing this I bet I had 200 niggas listening right now. So, what's up? <laughs> y'all no, was waiting. I'm pretty sure we have more than that, guys. Come on. We, we deep. We wrote them deep. We yes. just want to keep growing. But and thank y'all. Yeah, that's listening. other God than great birthday dick and please rate us. Those are all my announcements. All right. Well, I guess it's time for <laughs> Gossip <Gage. laughs> Three, two, one. Gossip Gage. Gossip Gage. Gossip Gage. Gossip Gage. Gossip Gage, Gossip Gage, Gossip Gage, 
Gossip Cage. Gossip Cage. So, this has been a tumultuous week. So mm-hmm. much shit has happened. Girl. One of my favorite things, I made a playlist that is called New York Rap is Wait a Bike. Do we follow each other on, on, on iTunes? But y'all don't be seeing you. <laughs> well, you follow me. What the fuck? Well, because you know when you follow each other, you can see their playlist. Oh, yeah. Them. My playlist is the bomb. I've been mm-hmm. listening to um, the Freddy um, versus Jason. Shit is fire. What is that? That is Fabulous and Jadakiss. I don't do it. New York rap is back. You a San Diego girl. I'm from yeah, Michigan all day. I, say, I don't do it. I'm from Michigan all day. We fuck with New York rap because that's what the fuck we like. The only thing I like that Fab done. I mean, I've met Fab in real life and he's cool as fuck. His brother Paul, dope as fuck. Okay. like him. Music, not so much. Yeah, you from California. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> the only reason why I like that nigga is because I met him. Mm-mm-mm. He got bars. He been dropping some some jewels on there. They going back and forth. It's beautiful. I love it. Theme music is the the my favorite song okay, on the album. Okay, so they're going back and forth, him and Jada? Well, it's a joint album, but theme music is the song where they're really like rapping off of each other and using the same scheme. Okay. And theme music is they're using themes, rap themes oh, to rap about. Cute. It's so Oh, that is cute. cute. And I fuck with Jada. Oh, it's so cute. I love that song. Not y'all. because I've met him, but. Yeah. Like him. But even though I like Jada because Jada's like, he's a very real nigga. Like, Jada look like he still run around the hood, but he still got that dread. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I like, I like things him. like that. And though. they down to earth ass people. So, all right. I'll listen to the mixtape. Good. Also, you know, Cam dropped that album. We talked about that last week. We sure did. And that nigga was on the breakfast club. Oh, was he, was he still dissing Mace? Well, more so like, uh, but who's checking for that nigga? So I'm not. Well, Cam has a fan base, me included. Yo, and so the shit that he said to, to Mace, Mace shot back. Man, my nigga, New York rap beef is back. Okay, so wait, what specifically did Cam say to Mace? He said that him and Mace was, Mace was over some girl's house. Okay. And her dude came home. And so he called Cam and was like, yo, Cam, come get me out of this. I'm in a jam, my nigga. So Cam was like, I got you. Cam pulled up, had the shooters with him. This is bow, real bow, life? Bow, bow, bow. Um, yeah. Okay. Sprayed the shit up. Bow, bow, bow. Uh-huh. So then they get Mace out the crib and then Mace like good looking out and gave him a hundred dollars. Gave he gave Cam, Cam a hundred dollars for coming to pick him up and, and, and shoot the, Oh, the crib. he really, wow. All right. And Cam was like, a hundred dollars like motherfucker i get 80k for doing shit like this you better come up with some more bread or- 80 racks to spread okay yeah and so what year was this he said mace was scary and then mace ended up turning religious and shit so mace oh, came back like hold the fuck hold, hold the bitch. fuck up because i was the one who had more money back then nigga what the fuck was dipset yeah and he also said that um he said a lot of shit. He said that Cam fucked his sister. Like, Cam fucked his stepsister. Oh. Like his own sister. And he oh, also oh, said that. Oh, Cam fucked his own stepsister. Yeah. Stepsis yeah. means not blood, right? Yeah, but it's kind of like that. I mean, it's not okay. I just want to make Greg sure. Greg and Jan <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm not fucking my stepbrother. Yes. But, yeah. But, not. like, is it, like, no blood whatsoever is what I'm talking Yeah, about. but you're not... You can nah, pay eighty thousand dollars to shoot some sit up. You might be the type of nigga who fucks his step cousin. Cam is at a very his childhood was deep. was a wild hood, yeah, yeah. and he said that throughout his whole his entire album collection. Mm-hmm. And so in the end, Mace was like, "Nigga, you the bitch. You got my name tattooed on you." Wait, <sighs> who does that? Bitch, I am so lost. Okay, let me fucking keep up. So, so Cam was saying that fucking mace had to call him to get him out of some bitch crib because her nigga had came home but the nigga didn't have no guns and he just dumped on him anyway because he's so thugged out we don't know what he we don't know that part we don't know why he shot because it seems random as fuck that you just to get him out the house my nigga fucking somebody else's girl oh and okay so, all right yeah. so then he tried to get his nigga like a hundred dollars that's all i got right now and cam's like what the fuck is this and then basically so then he aired him by. out yeah and was like you scary and, and your ass turned to home. god okay to get out the street oh, okay because you a punk ass nigga okay and mace was like no nigga everybody know i'm affiliated nigga i gave you your style oh shit. bitch if it wasn't for mace wouldn't be no cam and i was like okay horse and carriage okay horse and well come on horse and carriage Ooh, horse and carriage and it's mace and bad that 
Ooh, mm. and mama mama cows. Cows or some shit. Please, yeah. Mama Tita. Yeah. So.